How is the molecular shape around an atom is determined? To find out the molecular shape, first thing you have to do is to draw Lewis structure and this I already explained in my last video. Once you are done drawing Lewis structure, you have to count the number of groups around the central atom. And how do you define group? Group is an atom or a lone pair of electron. And then we're going to use the valence shell uh, electron pair repulsion theory which is given on the next page to find the shape and the bond angle. So here, in this video, I'm not going to explain you how to draw the structure, but I'm going to assume you already know it. So let's say uh, this is this is Lewis structure of methane. So, and I'm assuming you know that. So number of how many groups are around the central atom? Remember, groups are atoms or the lone pairs. That's a definition. Groups are atoms or lone pairs. How many atoms are around the central atom? Four. One, two, three, four. Are there any lone pairs on carbon? No, zero. If there are four groups and all of them are atoms and no lone pair, then the shape of the uh, shape is around the central atom is tetrahedral and bond angle is 109.5. So when we look at CH4, the shape is like that, it's called tetrahedral shape and these bond angles are 109.5. Let's take another example. Uh, for example, ammonia and I explained you Lewis structure of ammonia in the last slide. This was Lewis structure of ammonia. So First thing, how many atoms are around the central atom? Nitrogen is the central atom and there are three atoms around the central atom. Is there any lone pair on the central atom? Yes, it's one. So if there are, so number of groups are still four, three plus one, three plus one, four. So if there are four groups, three are atoms and one is the lone pair, then the shape is trigonal pyramidal, which looks like this. The shape is this trigonal pyramidal and these bond angles are approximately 109.5, not exact, approximately 109.5. Um, another example is water. So this is Lewis structure for water. Two atoms around the central atom, two lone pairs. And so if you have, so again, number of groups are four, but two are atoms, two are lone pairs. Then the shape is bent and we can see the shape is bent. And the bond angle, this bond angle is approximately 109.5 degree. Um, <coughs> for uh, another example, Let's say if I take example of H2CO, which I explained it in the last video, um, C double bond O H H. This is the this is Lewis structure for H2CO. Um, so how many atoms are around the central atom? Your central atom is carbon, and there are three atoms around the central atom. Is there any lone pair on the central atom? No, carbon is a central atom and it does not have any lone pair. So if there are three groups and all of them are atoms, then the shape is trigonal planar. And if you look carefully, this is a trigonal shape. And these bond angles are 120 degree. Let's take example of carbon dioxide. This is Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. And again, we are to find out the molecular shape. You look at the arrangement around the central atom. How many atoms are around the central atom? Carbon is your central atom. There are two atoms, two oxygens around the central atom. Is there any lone pair on the central atom? No. So if two groups and both are atoms, the shape will be linear and we can see this shape is linear and the bond angle is 180 degree. Made with DoodleCast Pro.